Grim here with a short weapon guide on how to get the Hakushin Ring. This is a story related, well, kind of story, side story related weapon. You get it at the end of the Sacred Sakura cleansing. It's a very long ritual, multi part quest filled with Primo gems, and the quest starts at this location, at this shrine, right outside the Konda village. It'll take you inside the Konda village where you have to do various tasks, puzzles and such. And then from that, you end up going to this shrine over here, doing various tasks here, finding one ghost, two ghost, three ghost, getting them to do the stuff. Then after that, you'll have to head up to the mountaintop. You can teleport up there by taking the um, electropath here and getting along this way, or you can climb if you want the scenic routes. Up there, you get the, the lens. It's a... What is that? It's a... I have it on me. It's a lens item that allows you to interact with the Earth Kitsune, the uh, Memento lens, sorry. And once you have that, you can continue the quest, and from there, you will have to go to three locations in the forest here, where you deal with the Tanuki. Then you'll have to go to the estate. It's not at the estate, it's over here. But the ward for it, each of these has a ward, by the way. The ward is here, but the shrine is here. And the last one is over here. It's just a simple puzzle. You have to um, light up a bunch of electro beacons and it will drop you into a room. The ward is right in the room, pretty much right behind you. But there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do in here that will eventually lead you to here. That's not the important thing. Once you do all that, the um, shrine maiden will tell you to go to the center, basically. She won't tell you that, but the quest will say that. And you'll have to finish the quest there, and at the end of the quest, you'll receive an item from the Shrine Maiden. And this item is a special item. It's listed... I've already used it. But it's listed over here in the um, precious items, and it's a use item. And when you use it, it will actually give you the recipe for this particular weapon. So if we come up here to see what it actually costs, because getting the recipe versus getting the weapon, two different things. I've already crafted it, so I'm low on materials. It needs these amethyst lumps, and it needs the catalyst, and also the white iron chunk. White iron is extremely common. This new resource is not as common, but it is common if you have Ning, because they appear on the map if you're using Ning. I've marked a few locations. Right here, right here, there's a bunch here. There's a bunch here, bunch here. Some under this, over here. And you'll find these naturally as you're playing along. Over here, and over here. I stopped doing it there because that's when I had 50. This one over here is a massive deposit, but you have to solve a little mini puzzle in order to access it. It's just lighting up certain pillars. It's fairly self-explanatory and does not take too long to do that puzzle. But once you have all the resources and once you can actually craft this catalyst, what do you end up getting? Well, let's take a peek. So the actual weapon has the effect where whenever Electro triggers, it will boost the party's elemental damage by 10%. So that's pretty nice, but notice notice the words, nearby party members. So this seems like it's mostly for a co-op thing, because nearby means they have to be on the field. So the only one who would actually gain the benefit of this, if you're doing it solo, is the person who's wielding it. That's why I have it on Lisa. She can trigger this 100% of the time. I could give it to Sucrose, because of Swirl. But the issue with that is, she would have to be fighting characters that are either Electro in nature, or she'd have to be partnered with people that are constantly doing Electro. So, it's up to you who you put this on. It's got the Elemental Recharge and the Enhancement, if we can go ahead to the Enhancement to see what it is. This requires the new domain. These are from the Water Mages. Sort of like the Electro and the Cryo Mages. They have a weird gimmick where they try to seal you in water and they teleport around, but they're extremely easy to beat down. It has decent attack. The energy recharge is the biggest part on it. And it scales decent. I mean, it's a damage boost. And if you're looking for something like this, then it should fill the gap that you're missing. I hope this was informative and helped anyone out there. This is new content and... There's plenty of uh, secrets like this hidden around, so 
This is Krim, signing out. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment below with what you'd like to see next.